close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Give the mind a good place to stay. We work with the body, but the reason we work with the body is because of the mind. Because the mind is our most important possession. We want to make sure that the state of the mind is always good. Because it's from the state of your mind that you make your decisions. And your decisions are what shape your life. So make sure the state of your mind is in good shape. And as the extent to which you can give it a comfortable place to stay with the breath, give it that. If you find some other meditation topic can be more comfortable, try that. The important thing is the mind is a good place to stay in the present moment. This is how we provide refuge for it. We're talking about taking the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha as our refuge. Basically what it means is bringing their qualities inside. And to some extent it's a refuge for the body, in the sense that if you follow the precepts as the Buddha taught, you're not going to create the kind of karma that would lead people to want to kill you or steal from you. The karma that would make you sick. But every body is going to have to die at some point. And at that point, the, the mind will be without a refuge if it's been taking the body as its refuge. So we give it something better. Because this is the most important thing to protect, it's the state of the mind. There's a passage where the Buddha said, even if bandits had pinned you down and they were cutting you to pieces with a two-handled saw, he'd recommend that you would have thoughts of goodwill for the bandits and then thoughts of goodwill for the whole universe. So if you happen to die at that point, you wouldn't be going in line with thoughts of ill will. Because thoughts of ill will are not a good place to, or a good state of mind to lead your rebirth. And even if you don't think about rebirth, just think about living here on earth going for thoughts of ill will, wanting to see somebody suffer. That's going to pull your mind down. But if you know that you don't have any ill will for anybody anywhere at all, that lifts the state of your mind. That's how you protect yourself. So it's the state of the mind that needs protection. It's the state of the mind that gets the ultimate refuge. Because that is our most important possession. It's like when you know that there's a fire coming your way. And you realize you can't take all your possessions with you. Well, you take the ones that are most valuable, the ones that can't be replaced. And the state of your mind is number one. So look after that at all times. When you find the mind is getting down, think of what you can to lift it up. When it's getting scattered, think of what you can do to get it more focused. If it's burdened by thoughts of worry or obligations. Think of what you can do to put those burdens down, at least for the time being. You don't have to carry all your worries around all the time. They can do perfectly fine without you. When you look after the mind in this way, that's when you're giving it refuge, that's when you're giving it safety. And that's the most important thing that you want to keep safe.